I'm gonna log in my shit real quick. I'm gonna log in my shit. Oh, oh, there's some shit to be logging in my shit, dude. Oh, oh. I always like when <laughs> dumb shit like this. It's perfect for a cold open. Oh my god, dude! Alright, here I am. You ready, Billy? Yeah, I'm fucking ready, dude. Let's start this chair. I'm, uh... I think I'm a Strider? Is that what I am? Strider? Like... No, Assassin. I'm an Assassin. I was gonna say, so like, uh... <sighs> Billy. You're, you're you're just you're just heavy breathing. You're not because the gate. Ah! Yeah, I'm logging my things in Taylor. Logging on. <laughs> Welcome back to Dragon's Dogma. After many many moons of not playing this game on the show, we are back. I had to replay up to the part again <laughs> for like the third time for this game because I had it on PlayStation Four, but now we're playing it on a PlayStation Five. So, you, ch you chose your own thing. Oh yeah, I I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've also just been playing this game in my free time because I love it so goddamn much. So yeah, I got up back up to where we were. Where I'm gonna go fight the Griffin. Well, Billy's scanning his Reese's points. Yeah, I'm, I'm scanning Ooh. all my things. Chimeric Sabaton. Interesting. Oh! I gotta keep counting my calories so I don't get fatter. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I gotta fucking do dinner. Um, you know what I forgot? Hold on. Did I do it in this? Oh, I did! This version's got the hotkeys in it, bro. It's sick. Um. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit, my ass. Alright. I gotta get rid of some of this shit that I'm carrying here. Okay. Oh. What do I have? That shit's all logged. Now I can come back. I'm logging on, logging off. Oh, fuck. Yes. I'm just gonna <clears throat> get some. Wait, what is Tegan? Alright, Tegan's a fucking ranger. She can't use that shit. Alright. I'm using some uh, different uh, classes than I did before, so none of this is the same character as the one that I, in the previous episode, whatever fucking number it was. Uh, it's like 40 something? Yeah. So none of this is the same. I built a, an entirely new character and just got literally up to where we were in the last <laughs> episode, <laughs> which was probably uploaded in like, I don't know, 2020 or 2021 or something. Um, since then I've uh, beaten this game twice again because I'm a loser. Well, and we've already reached our Dragon's Dogma quota for this episode because we're playing it literally. Yeah, I think I'm maybe. I don't think I'm that much of a higher level than we were before. I think I'm about the same level actually. So you're logging your 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 stats for the day. Yeah. So you, you start doing this immediately during a game that you have no interest in. Yep, pretty much. I find that offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I watched you play the surge last time, and it turns out I don't have any interest in that. Yeah, that's why we didn't play. It. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? We tried something new, and then we found out. Hey. I don't really care for it. That's why we don't ever play games that we don't know anything about in the show. <laughs> oh. Alright, I still have 900 calorie deficit from where I, I should be. Or where I need to be. Well, where I can be, my max. Yeah. <clears throat> so when I go home, 
I mean, I probably, <coughs> probably hit my limit for the day between all the shit that we've had. Yeah. Well, I just I just logged all of it. Oh, I forgot the bread. Ah, oh, fuck! Three cheeser penis bread. Oh, oh shit! Dinner. Three cheese. You know what's crazy, Billy? Is and I'll tell you right now. Um, in this game, we're actually not too far off of the ending, oh, nice. or at least getting to the the post game, I should say. There's still a good amount of game left, so it's not like it's not like there's a you know, it's not like we're gonna finish it tonight or anything. But the um, the interesting thing with this game, I feel, is like. It's it's actually not very long if you um, are just trying to do like the main story stuff. Ooh, sectional iron plate. Not good. Not good. <gasps> um. Yeah. There's a lot of. Uh, there's because like the weird thing is with this game too. So like there's like um, there's a period. Or like earlier in the game where and we're kind of we're, it's not we're really not in that section anymore necessarily but like when you finally reach the capital um you're doing like um quests for the duke and whatever the duke of nottingham yeah so like you <clears throat> you talk to this like head guard guy and he gives you four like main story quests like here's like these different things that we've been um trying to do and we're working on whatever and then you go and you you only have to do two of them it doesn't matter which two, but as long as you complete those two um, quests, like of the four, then you just you move on to the next phase of the game. So it's kind of weird. Like they have like these like seemingly like main story quests, and yet they don't. They're matter. not all mandatory. They, yeah, they don't fucking matter. <clears throat> so that's that's the weird thing, in my opinion, is that they just will introduce like you know these different other quests for you to do, and then they just don't make you have to do them um after that though pretty much all of the main story quests are mandatory but like just on that particular instance there's like four of them that are not mandatory <laughs> or, like, can you, you know, can you still do all four of them you can, yeah you can still do all four of them but you only need to do two in order to progress the story okay so the ones that i usually do I mean, if I were to speedrun it, which I, if as you know, I'm working on the platinum trophy for this game. Yeah. And um, there's the speedrun mode, which I've literally never done before, so I've got to do that. But um, and since and the weird thing, all right, the weird thing with this game too, as I've told you before, is that it it only allows you to have one save game file. So the odd thing is, it's like on the main menu, there's a hard mode selection, and then there's a speedrun mode. So you would think that, like, for either of those, it would start you at a new game, right? Yeah. No, it doesn't. So, like, if I play through the game with, and I reach a level 100 character, and then if I select those, either speedrun mode or hard mode from the beginning, it uses my level 100 character, which is really odd. I've never seen another game do it that way. Yeah, that's... You would think, let a speedrun, you would start from level beginning. 1. Yeah. Yeah, but no, you start with whatever character you have built. Like, it's very odd. I don't know why they do it that way. I guess you would just start, you know, make sure you get that level 100 character and then start it. Yeah. I feel like it would be easier then. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, too, the level cap in this game is actually 200, so... Like, oh, okay. You know, it's not like... So you're only halfway there. Yeah. Whoa. And the weird thing is, too, is... Um, so we're fighting the, the griffin now. <laughs> yeah. The weird thing is, too, about this game is the way in which... Now, I haven't done a ton of research into this because it, I guess in, in the end it kind of doesn't matter, which is I, maybe why they only allow you one save file. Um, but there's uh, the, the stat scaling in the way in which, like, you know, the classes, because there's different classes, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, they do scale differently, but, like, I guess they don't scale differently enough in a way. Because. Um, uh, what I've read, at least what I've read online anyway, because I, obviously I like to play the Mystic Knight, but like usually you want to get a higher magic stat in order to like make your magic stronger. And the best way to do that is to play as a fucking sorcerer for like 50 levels. And it's like, why am I playing as another class to make a stronger other class? Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> well, I mean, 
is it magic based in the? It's magic and strength based, like because you got you've got like um like you've got like bludgeoning weapons or swords, but then you've got your magic shield as well. But it's just odd that like, you know, because I've seen some people online write up about it and they say that like, you know, you should use a different like like a magic based class first to just increase your magic for use with the um, Mystic Knight. But it's like. I think, my, I think Tegan got fucking stuck and is dying. Yeah, it happens. Just oh, no, no, she's fine. She's fine. No, like, the griffin chases you there and, like, knocks out these ledges, and then if they fall to their death, then they're, like, dead. You have to go to a riftstone to get them back. And that happens almost every fucking time I do this quest, but they actually oh. live that time. But, yeah, it's just, it, I don't know. The way in which they, they scale up everything in this is really bizarre. So, like, I think... I think it does make a difference depending upon which class you choose, but like I think ultimately it doesn't make that big of a difference, so I think that's partially the reason why they only let you have one character save is because it's like you could play as any class effectively. Yeah. Like they don't make that much of a difference, but... Uh, I'm sure the strongest class is something mixed with a mage. Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty viable, but it's like, you know, just certain things like, you know, if you pick a warrior class... And you just level that up, like you're gonna have the most HP than you know, more HP than like say another class, like a major. Yeah, you'll or, probably you hit know. the hardest physically. Oh yeah, for sure. But it's like, like normally you know, magic tends to be stronger. Yeah, so I don't know. It, it, it's weird how they do it, and I would hope that in the sequel they um, address that and just make it so it's like whatever class you pick is like it scales appropriately for that class in some way, you know. But I don't know. So we're, so, we're, so we're fighting a griffin. Griffins are pretty cool. They Billy, do griffin Billy are, you, are your nipples hard right now? Um, no, actually, what surprisingly. The fuck it, what? Well, you've lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> you've lied to me. <laughs> what is punctured? What is this thing? Oh, okay. You're Stefan. Here he is. Here we do. I got him Salamet's Grimoire earlier in the game, and now he helps us fight the Griffin with the same Grimoire that I gave him. We actually we actually see Salamet here in a little while. He's an asshole. He's a stupid prick. <laughs> and now that I've beaten this, <laughs> now that I've beaten this game three times within the past like, month, um, I can speed run some of these stupid quests. I don't need to do all the bullshit. That bitch is on fire. Oh my god! Slap his face. Cut his neck open. <laughs> Cut his fucking head off! <laughs> <laughs> and I know, Billy, you want me to. You want to see me fight the death monster. I know that's what you want. Yeah, I do. I'll get to that. We gotta see. Like, I gotta. See, we'll, we'll gauge it, because, like, getting it to the point where we can complete the game. Uh, it's not too hard. You know, there's, there is a post-game section after we uh, defeat the dragon, but um, that can either be as long or as short as you want, pretty much. You, uh, you gotta collect 20 wake stones. Like, like woke stones? Yeah. Like they, they're friendly to the LGBT community? Mm-hmm, yep, yep. Okay. They don't discriminate, those wake stones. They got blue hair. <laughs> they got blue hair. Tattoos, they got leave, you know. Um, but yeah, you gotta collect 20 of them and then you go and do the actual ending, which gets kind of weird. The ending of this game is kind of weird. Did you know that they made a fucking anime out of this goddamn game? Did you know that? I'm pretty sure you told me about yeah. this. Yeah! It's on Netflix. It's not great. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's not great. Like, it's not horrible, but it's not great. It doesn't really uh, capture the essence of the game, I don't think, very well, but whatever. Is it more like an isekai? A what? An isekai. I don't know what that is. It's, um... It translates basically to... A person from another world drops into a medieval setting, um, and then they figure out that they have superpowers or they're special somehow. 
No. It more or less follows, like, a similar, like, plot arc to the game. Because, like, the game, you know, you... The dragon is in incarnated and then, like, comes and, like, destroys the village and then, like, it stabs you and takes your heart and that makes you the Arisen. Mm -hmm. Which essentially happens in the show. But then each show is themed after one of the seven deadly sins. Real original, I know. Yep. And, very, very um, original. Never <laughs> seen that before. Yeah, never seen that done ever in any form of media ever. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of him like traveling to like get to the uh, <laughs> traveling to get to the dragon to fight him. But like he only gets one pawn throughout the game, so obviously like you know a big part of the game is to get the pawns, right? You get like a party of different people to help you fight shit. He only gets one, and. Um, I don't know. Like, it's just kind of like the character, like the main dude is not very likable and he's like, I don't know. The ending is kind of interesting because it touches on like a piece of the lore that doesn't really get explained that much in the actual game. So like, I guess if you like, um, I don't know, there's like a, the, the dragon tries to give you like a bargain or something like that. And I think if you don't take it, then like it... Uh, he Like you become the dragon or something like that. And then it's like a... Um, vicious circle type thing you'll see later on once we get to the actual end of the game but it's like it's interesting because it's like that's, <coughs> that's what ends up happening in the anime is he like kills the dragon but then like becomes possessed by his rage or something like that and then all of a sudden he's like he becomes the dragon need more rage yeah so <laughs> need more rage proceeds to shit pants <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I don't know it's whatever this game could have had like some pretty good lore if they actually like developed it, but they who made this Capcom? Capcom is it? Yeah, that, that would be why. Yeah, you know they they only do two things: Resident Evil and Street Fighter. Arcade arcade games and Resident Evil. That's what they do. Yeah. And unfortunately, this one. Uh, well, they fell they... into the Resident Evil What's that category. Mean? What does that mean? Not enough lore? Yeah, not enough lore. Um, I don't know. I feel like the fucking... Resident no. Evil gets too much lore after a yeah, point. Yeah, actually. <laughs> this one has a little bit of A and a little bit of B. A, because it actually you know, is a game Oops. that's not like arcade but then mm -hmm. also has arcade elements. Yeah. But nothing like a Lost Planet or... No. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like this game... And the thing, you know what I what I've discovered too since playing this game originally on the on the show here was like, um, from what I understand, the final version of this game that we have right now was only like a quarter of what they actually wanted to do with it. Um, uh, so they went a kingdoms of Amalar, right? Kinda, yeah, I think so. But like the, yeah, they just, just wanted to put way too much stuff but in, it and the, it just wouldn't work. But the the budget of the of I guess just wasn't. Good. like they couldn't like you know yeah um afford it or whatever so yeah, like definitely kingdoms uh, kingdoms of amalar yeah like you want to put all this stuff in and it's going to be really cool Ooh. but you just don't have enough time or money yeah to do it or do it justice of course it makes the user more oh that's cool yeah yeah i don't know um because that's the thing. Like, I think, yeah, they they certainly had like some lofty ideas for this game. I don't really know specifically, but I think they obviously probably wanted to try to make the the map a lot larger and um, stuff like that. But like, um, and I and I can see kind of where they wanted to get at it. But it's like you know, I, I'm perfectly content with what we have in the game. But you could see where there's so many elements of it that were left unfinished, mm -hmm. and, that, and that's like the the problem with the game is like <laughs> it's just so like clearly unfinished like after you play it for enough time it's like i don't know i'm curious to see if they'll actually be able to reach even like something similar to what they wanted with this game in the sequel so well we'll see what happens i'm i'm excited for it either way why would you want to blunt your arrows unless you're talking points. 420 blunt Special sight on this. These are the energy target distant foes. She's We're going to get you points. deathly arrow. We're going to get points. you... Ooh, meteor shot. That's not pretty good. No, maybe not. 
foot binders, a uh, Chinese thing. Yeah, I know. I Japanese know. thing. Oh, I know. Little women's feet. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty shitty thing, isn't it? Huh? Are you okay? <laughs> Did you bump Yeah, I was just, just charging my chi. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> so what are, what other games you've been playing, dude? <coughs> oh, Resident Evil Six is installed every day. Nice. Um, I've been playing Grim Dawn fun? again. What is it? Grim Dawn. I don't know what that one is. It's a Diablo style game. Oh. It's a uh, it's it's pretty grim dark. This dude want the fucking idol worship. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So, Anne and I have been playing that. Um, I'm going to buy Company of Heroes 3 to play with uh, the boys. To log with the boys. Yeah, log with the boys. <laughs> I bought Hunt. We should uh, we should play that sometime. We should. I have never played it, so I'm probably going to be bad at it. Oh, don't worry. We're all bad. All right. Well, I'm willing to, to try it out. I have to. I asked you. <clears throat> Melissa to click the install button today, but I don't know if she remembered to do that or not. Ooh. And then, uh, other than that, I played I Ixion. Oh yeah, you said that before. I and then Timberborn. Um. <sighs> Let's do this to complete the quest. It's so. There's a. I don't mean to interrupt you, but. There's a quest here where you're supposed to get like idols for um, these people, like the merchants, because like they deal with like a special arms dealer if you have one of the idols. Mm -hmm. But there's a bronze, a silver, and a gold <clears throat> idol, and the better one that you give them, the better that they, the better shit that they get. Oh, and I guess I must have fucked up Madeline's shop, maybe. Oh, she's right there. Where is she? Where? To your left. Oh, she just didn't spawn in. Here we yep. Go. You're too fast. Yeah, that happens quite a bit. So she wants one too. So, but I, I could never figure out how to get the gold one until I did that. Um, until, until I tried to get that trophy for completing all the quests. Um, the quest to get the gold idol is a fucking annoying ass quest, just because it's so goddamn boring. And I don't think I did it on this playthrough of the game because I was just trying to get back to. Where you were, where we were for the playthrough <coughs> rush on the channel. So, um, what you have to do is you got to go. There's like this big wig, like rich man, and he wants you to just hang out with his little like daughter for a little while. And hang out with it. my daughter. <laughs> yeah, Don't just, let her get uninnocent. Yeah, pretty much. If you know what I mean. Oh. Don't I'm, fondle my right, daughter. Here, I can do this one too. I know what to do for this one. <coughs> we got to get the... Is this the Gardener? The Gardener one? Yes. Gardener White. Yeah, I can get this one. This one's pretty easy and stupid. If anything, I do the quest just for the XP. Um, but yeah, it's... But the other one to get the gold idol is really annoying. It's just... It's not hard. It's just... Yeah, this fucking guy right here. Yep. Hey. Oh my god, I still haven't done that yet. <laughs> yeah. You can tell that I'm like I like am completely ignoring all of the actual quest stuff for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing all this shit out of order, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So there's a uh, another quest you got to do for that guy. You got to evict some people, mm. and I didn't do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let me see here. How many skeleton keys do I have? One. I need two in order to rescue the gardener guy. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, all right, I only got one. I might be able to find another one. I know where one is. But anyway, you're playing your Ixion, your Onision game. Oh no, no! <laughs> oh. That guy, uh, Timberborn, Grim Dawn. I don't know what any of these games are. Timberborn's Beaver. City builder. Oh. Uh, um. Oh, fuck it, I can't get another skeleton key, so. 
I'm gonna just say, fuck it, the gardener can rot in prison for a while here. There's his daughter there, bitch. <laughs> um, I can't remember if I played anything else recently. Y'all should play Red Dead 2, man. No. Ah! <laughs> oh, I didn't do this one. I was thinking. Fuck! Of I was thinking of going back to uh Ooh, I gotta got the silver one. Elden Ring to finish that one. Oh yeah. I can't be bothered, man. At this point, like I just don't care. I'm up to the fire giant. I know, that's where I'm at too, and I'm like I don't really want to. I haven't do even it. tried to fight him yet. I I've tried fighting him once and died immediately, and I'm like, I don't really care. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> uh you know what? Okay. Alright. There's some good quests here. I got the conspirators. I'm gonna do that one. So I, I, in order to do the dragon's bane, oh fuck it, you know what? I'll, I'll turn in the dra or the griffin's bane one, and then I'm not gonna accept his other ones yet. He's got two more quests. So wait, I have another quest. No, for you. no, no! <laughs> it just turns around. Oh, I canceled it. Fuck you. Okay, never mind. I didn't know that. I was gonna. Get I was it. just just gonna go do it too, but oh well, whatever. Hey, you know what? This isn't the most thorough playthrough. I don't care. Nope. This is not your... This isn't my... my your platinum achievement. No, this is right. not that one. Okay. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, the Worm King's Ring I'm going to do in a minute, but we're going to do the... Pride Before the Fall. Pride Before the Fall because it's very easy. It's very Mike. easy. It's incredibly easy. Do I have a fucking... I probably don't have a thing out there, do I? Oh, I do. Great. Awesome. All right. Hello. This is Sir Mercedes. Hello. She was earlier. She was more important earlier in the game, and now here's her quest. So all you got to do is you talk to her. We're going to go over here. Salada. But yeah, I would like to play that, that hunt game with you guys sometimes, because that, that, that would actually be a, a game that we can play together. Yeah. You know? Even if uh, Mitch and Dan and all of them are not able to play, we can still play together as a duo. Yeah. I think that would be fun, because I haven't played like online games with you in a long time. Yeah. Also, I want... If, if you win in on it with me, um, that Exo Primal game, I think, looks like a lot of fun as well. Oh, yeah. Which is that stupid like other Capcom game that's coming out at some point. Because it, lo it looks like the modern day version of like a Lost Planet too. Yeah. So I think I think you and I would have a lot of fun with that. Because I think, again, I haven't looked up much on it, and like kind of like deliberately, like I'm just kind of trying not to like see a whole lot of stuff because yeah, you know. me too. So, but I th I'm pretty sure the trailers. Yeah, it's like a bunch of dudes in like fucking big mech suits, and then you're fighting like dinosaurs or something. I'm pretty sure it's like dinosaurs, like yeah, l like real life. You know, dinosaurs. Not like fake fantasy ass shit, like actual dinosaurs, I think. But I, I could be wrong. You know what I bought? What? I bought, uh. Dinosaur Hunt. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it's another game, but you're hunters and you hunt dinosaurs. That's cool. That's what Extra Primal looks like, anyway, but just like a crazy, weird, arcade, <clears throat> super future game. And I just thought that, that would be a game that would just be like, we'd both be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so you're fighting herpes, or are these yeah, just herpes. pelicans? Oh, these are herpes. Oh, okay. Snow herpes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. This this game doesn't have sexy herpes. No. They got, like, ugly titties on them. Yeah. So, dude, you're going you're gonna to get the new Zelda? There's a new Zelda. Yeah. It's coming out at some point soon. Nope. It looks almost identical to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah. Didn't didn't play Breath of the Wild. Not gonna play whatever's new. I know a lot of, I just I, I it's one of those things I've seen trailers for it and I'm like, this looks like the same fucking game. You know, and I like Breath of the Wild. I think it's good. It's just not again, much like we were talking about Red Dead earlier, it's just not a 10 out of 10 game. Like, yeah. it's fine, it's good, it's just not that good. 
What would you give it? Seven? I would probably give I'd probably give it a seven. Yeah, I think like there's certainly a lot of good things about it, but there's a lot of um, lackluster and shitty things about it as well. So I'd probably give it like a seven, maybe a seven point five. Like it's good. It's good. It just kind of loses its charm after a while, and like you know, what the game does really well is like the uh, the exploration is really good. The combat, not so much. Like. There's really no development to it at all. I mean, you get those things and you can do, like, stop time and yeah, hit but, a rock until it just... Yeah, but that's like, but that that's not really a combat thing, I don't think. I mean, it can it be. Can, it can be. <laughs> like, it's not generally, like, I don't know. Generally not, like, a combat-focused ability. At least in, like, Twilight Princess or something like that, like, you gradually unlock new techniques over the course of the game, like the shield bash, and then there's, like, the finishing move, and then there's, like, the extra spin move or whatever. I don't know. You know what I was watching, Taylor? Porn? Uh, no. It's right up your alley, though. Uh, people were doing a concert where they took video game music and they made it into jazz. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I probably would like that. I'll, uh, I'll have to send it to you, but, uh... Right. Yeah, they, they took, you know, like, classics, like, Bob... Bob Ob's... Bob Ob's... Oh, my God. Bob Ob's Paradise? Yeah, Battlefield. Oh, yeah. From Nintendo 64, Super Mario. <laughs> yeah, they just... They, they jazzed it. <laughs> Or if you remember uh, Sonic R, Can You Feel the Sunshine? Can you feel the sunshine? That's also. Someone did uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. Ooh. That'd be a pretty good version, yeah. But yeah, they were. it was a whole little jazz festival. I have a very love-hate relationship with jazz. I'll tell you what. All right, Billy, we got we got to decide the fate. So we're on we're on the side of Sir, Sir Mercedes here. Okay. And we're fighting Lord Julian. She wants us to not interfere. Do we interfere? Um, is she, she going to win? She loses if we don't interfere. Um. Yeah, I guess interfere. Fuck her. All right, he's dead. <laughs> <sighs> the outcome does not matter. It does not matter. It does not make a difference. But she loses if we don't. Like, she doesn't die or anything, but she's just like, Ugh, my feelings are hurt. <laughs> so I just, I don't mind killing this dude. See, this is another thing right here. The dude is like, he like insults her because like she's kind of like, you know. Uh, a whore? Well, no, like fake support, you know. Oh, okay. Like she sent as like aid. To like fight the dragon, but like she's like aid and name only. Basically, she's like a weakling, and she talks about like like Hearthstone or something is where she's from or something. I don't know what it's called. Heart Heartland. I don't know, but like I'm curious to know what the outside world is comparatively to the kingdom that we're in because we're in Grancis, but it's like what's like the rest of the world like, you know? Oh, next time on Chinstrap, we do a deep war dive into Dragon's Dogma.